Hello everybody. Welcome back to more Into the Gungeon Calm Time. Relax hour. Quiet, comfortable, let's shriek up 43. We're gonna get a nice die roll in here. Seven. Oh, we are, uh... We are ready to take a lot of damage, embarrass ourselves, and lose our streak and feel like garbage. Because we are playing as the robot. If we, you know... I always say it, I'll say it again. If we were to die, I feel like it'd be on robot. That's kind of where I'm at. I love the character, probably my favorite character. There's the cliff notes, that's where we're at with the character. If we are gonna die, I feel like it's robot. I feel like it's robot if anyone. But that being said, I'm feeling relatively confident in general. You know, we're on a streak of effectively 280 or something right now, effectively. But the farewell to arm streak is on a streak of 43. So there you freaking go. What what do you what else do you want to feel uh, confident about other than other than that? That's like it's quite a bit, quite a bit. Like the question maybe like arises every once in a while: Should I make it harder for myself? Maybe. I think that maybe what would be more appropriate would be like have another streak alongside it that is of a different variety like could it could be turbo it could be xyz it could be anything honestly i'd be more interested in high curse than turbo but that being said i also dislike the idea of, of high curse in a way because a lot of my favorite items and a lot of like the quirky runs can come from items that have curse on them. Yes, some of them are like really dang strong. I'm gonna go with this just because it's not not cool. Not because I think it's even necessarily better than coolant, just because it's literally not coolant. We're gonna take it. We don't uh, we don't love this or we don't show this item a lot of love very often. We're not immune to poison with it either though, which is kind of a stupid situation. I feel like the least you can do with it is make it so you don't get poisoned by it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But not every item has to be a banger supreme, as I say when regarding balance. It's a single player game. It's a single player game without leaderboards even, like in any kind of way. Like what? What are the leaderboards? The leaderboards are uh, the speed for speed running, which is effectively play paradox and get lucky that you get the 360 yes scope synergy and the perfect pathing there it's rng it's rng and the person who you know uh, it, whatever like I, other than that where's the player competition streaking i guess streaking i i guess but even there like it's on such a grand scheme that the balance of a character the balance of items probably is not going to change a whole lot I don't know. I don't know. Litchy Trigger Finger is honestly usually a buy for me. Just It's so simple. But it just makes such a big difference over the course of the entire run. Especially like, we're going to like that. We're going to like that we had that. Our starter is going to be kicking Rumpus right away. Like we're already doing a pretty good job with infinite ammo. Not going to mind that one bit. It's, one of the, it's, it's just one of those items that's not exciting on paper. But I'm always excited to have. Ah, you thought I was gonna get hit, and you were almost right. Can't get over this picture on the wall. It's literally just his head. It's like, why would they frame that? Unless that's actually the face this whole time? Could you imagine? What if this whole time? We just assumed. Because uh, humans have a tendency to want to uh, personify something, to make it anthropomorphic, or, you know, just assign human emotion to it. Why did I turn my brain off? That's really the only reason I got hit there. That makes a difference on the robot. That is that is a difference of two shields. There's a two shields right there. And this poison from the poison vial is staying on him a long time. Long enough for me to apply it again. Interesting. Does the poison from Poison Vial last a lot longer? This intrigues the Rito.
This intrigues him indeed. We don't have any use for that. We can buy a key. And we shall. We could go junk everything. I mean, we could open this up, junk two chests. Or open up, uh, open that up and junk two chests. And honestly, it probably would have been better than what I got right here. What I got. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open up that can of worms just to, just to junk it. I don't think so, man. I don't think so, girl. I don't think so, gang. Winchester's actually probably pretty slick right now. Ah, ha, ha, I do say so, indeed. Pretty slick indeed. We got the 50% accuracy reduction, spread reduction. All right, guys, nice knowing the streak. Shouldn't have been confident. I felt it in my in my bones, and I uh, and I fought back. It's too late to apologize. We're screwed. It's all downhill from here. We're done. Nice knowing you, gang. Good streak. It's okay. We got five shields. We we can pull. Uh, we I mean obviously like that's not that big of a deal. That that was a suspect dodge and a half. All right, let's just turn that that noodle we call a brain on. Turn that noodle we call a brain on. Let's answer some Discord question. We we we've been getting it to it a little late, so let's answer some right now. If you have any questions you want answered, or you have some custom Gungeon suggestions for the Mod the Gungeon series, or if you just want to talk, oh my God, my. My keyboard is taking over. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta get, get, get a new keyboard. Cause like I said, I it, something like that happened on stream. Like, keyboard issues, mouse issues is the kind of thing where nobody actually will believe you ever. So you gotta just actually replace it. Nobody will ever believe you. All right. So you gotta just straight up replace it. Crestfall is okay. Honestly, with actually faster fire rate? Faster fire rate on a freeze gun, not bad. Let's get to that Discord question that I was talking about. Link in the description for that. Hatboy asks, will you ever play RimWorld on the channel? Honestly, this should probably go more in the uh, in the suggestions channel, but I, I've definitely thought about playing RimWorld, but I have like a weird reservation with it because it's I don't know like I, I don't know much about it and I don't know if there's a place on YouTube for someone figuring out RimWorld for the first time right now or not I'm not sure would you be interested in RimWorld comment below comment below if you'd like to see RimWorld if you're not sure what it is it's kind of like a think uh, slightly simplified and more viewer friendly dwarf fortress which is you know okay more complex survival top down resource manage kind of simulation where you you can create weird stories because of just the weird uh way that things interact in the game like you can you're given basic tools, but those basic tools apply to everything to create emergent stories. Kind of like, you have a character. You have the ability to to eat. You can eat objects. But the, the emergent gameplay comes in in, this, in the sense where um, the limit on what you can eat is very, very low limit. So you could eat... The, you know, your your fellow colon, colonists. You could take an en enemy as prisoner you could use them to do whatever you know whatever bidding and then you can use them as food or something like something like that like obviously that's a very grim example of it but it's just it's it's flexible Sim simple rules making but letting them apply to whatever that kind of thing that's rim wolf for you what did we get shock a cola speed up with the synergy with five o'clock somewhere hmm <laughs> there we go. We can actually use our poison vial a little bit safer. All right. I need some uh, some serious focus here. 
Gun Snake is a bad, or so I hear. So I must pay attention. Which is always my nemesis. Attention is always my nemesis. So I'm just going to say a lot of things that maybe maybe make sense or maybe don't make sense while I focus on the more dodging aspects. That was a bad blank. Because we are trying desperately to not take a hit here because I want to get that mass around because I'm feeling disappointed in myself. <coughs> Disappointed in myself. Disappointed in myself. I wish we had the uh, spine break A, the vertebrae K47, instead of this one. We have done a dumb thing. We have done a dumb thing. And no shields have dropped until now. Oh my god. This run is on track to to die. That is wild. I'm gonna actually munch this. It's almost out of ammo. I'm just I want something better. I feel like that's okay. Come on. I'm counting on you, game. Oh, that sucks until it's amazing. That sucks until it's amazing. But right now it sucks. Oh shoot. 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 Well, let's play a little uh smart, a little bit safer now. Yeah, we just that that's the annoying thing. I've been playing relatively well, but when we get our only hits on the bosses, what do you do? You know, that's those are the ones that matter way more because they effectively count as two. It's like being hit by a jam shot. Get out of my swamp. All right. I just, I guess I'm just trying to keep you all on the edge. You're like, oh, this is actually gonna be the time where you die. He talked about it in the beginning. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> It's gonna be the one where he dies because he talked about it. Oh no, I'm scared. It's probably true. Are oh, you on edge yet? You on edge yet? We did get hungry bullets, which is a big get, a baguette and a half. Like you, but the thing is, you don't really. I, I it's yeah. It's not as exciting as it looks. It looks like a gun that would be game changing, but it's really like, it's pretty good. We'll do it. What was I talking about? I don't know. Okay, let's freeze him. Let's freeze him. I know that it's gonna chunk things up a bit. Okay. That could have been really bad. Definitely way more risky than it needed to be. But I'm gonna talk about the, let's talk about the crest folly. Pretty slick. Faster fire rate means way quicker, way quicker freeze. And the damage is not bad right now, so I'm into it. Okay. Okay. I like where this is going. We got freeze central now. Look at that. Infinite freeze. Immediate freezing. Mixed with that. We get scatterbutt? What's happening there? We got scatterbutt too. Gotta love a good scatterbutt. Getting a little bit of extreme visual clutter when we fire off the uh, void core cannon. So we're gonna have to be a little careful with that. I know it's, uh, it sounds like an excuse. It sounds like a stupid thing. Just get good at, at processing the visual clutter. You've been playing for so long, but at the same time, you, you want to minimize visual clutter like that. It's just like, you, if you can't see the bullets, you can't see the bullets and you can't dodge the bullets. It's just, it's as simple as that. Sometimes there can be a lot of visual clutter. Same reason I play with uh, with screen shake off. It just, it just, it's too cluttery. Or at least I play with, I think I play with it completely off. I, I don't know, maybe it's just on like, no, there's a little bit of screen shake, but that, those are with some like, pretty extreme shakes. I don't think we have a synergy with this. 
Kind of a lame shop. Kind of a lame shop. Honestly, we got blanks right now. I have faith in myself enough. Alright, we're gonna get him frozen. If we keep going, just keep firing, he may never unfreeze until he goes in Bill. So we should take advantage of this like crazy right now because this is so slick. Not to mention the hungry bullets with the scatter shot too. Not bad. Not bad. This is looking good. We actually did it. He, he can still beat a boss without taking damage. Who would have thunk? All right, you did, you did a great job, Poison Vile. Uh, see you in hell. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with you. I may not have a reason for this, but we're just... We're going on... This is a, a defensive build. We got Hungry Bullets. We got the... Uh, we're going to be using the Knife Shield defensively because we're not, you know... We're, we're, we're smart enough to know that it's, it's not going to have a lot of value using it aggressively right now. Not gonna have a lot of value defensively either until we can get like a lot of coolness. Because if we got a lot of coolness, we could start stacking the daggers. We, if you're, you know, if you're not new here, if you if you've been around the block here, you've probably seen a run where we've had high coolness knife shield. It is insane. It makes it, it takes it from a pretty good item to a oh my goodness item, and that is an item that I really wish I jumped. Disappointment. Disappointment! I'm just gonna not junk with any chest. And I'm okay with it. I feel like maybe we have a secret moth here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for a deep dive looking around. Ayo! Gosh, I just should totally junk these chests i i have it in my bones i'm feeling like i should not be opening these yet here i am oh well let's answer another discord question favorite gun engineer favorite passive item i've definitely answered that a lot what are your thoughts on cadence of hyrule if you've heard of played it I've talked about it a little bit, but maybe... I don't think I've answered the question in this way. I think that Cadence of Hyrule is so cool. I have not played it. I want to play it. I was going to stream it, but I just didn't get around to it. Very cool. I love that Nintendo was, like, willing to oops, let a company... An indie company take their property and, and make something cool out of it. You know, something that was just almost definitely going to turn out super cool and amazing and frankly it's it's looks super good and i've heard a lot of people like are including it on like in their top like five or ten zeldas which for an indie game to come in sweep in and do that is really really cool that's it's unheard of jar of bees is probably better but i just i kind of like the idea of going for a defensive build god you're just all getting frozen like crazy we we got a build we've got a build and it is ammo efficient i was sleeping on the crestfaller i tell you like i when i got it out of the chest i think i was i was holding myself back from saying something kind of negative oh my god and the run just popped off the bombs bursting in air gave truth to the night that the gungeon queen ant is so broken and we on top of that it, there's so many items that give it the synergy and that is by far the one that would change our game the most well arguably crown of guns as robot would would actually change our game a lot but arguably that changed our game the most because we're really we're quite late in the run and we have a lot of money that we haven't spent. Glad we got it before we went to the shop because we probably would have purchased stuff. And maybe we still will. But the uh, the damage cap, it kind of caps out. Basically, none of that is worth it. Kind of caps out around, um, I'd say, what, three, 300 really? Like, from 300 to 500... 
it does go up, but you get most of your value around 300 shells. And we can totally get there, especially with the cell creep. I'm sure we've got garbage to sell. I'm sure we do. But this run is popping off. Started out looking grim, and I gotta say, it's I'm feeling pretty locked in here. Boop. God, somebody stop it. You can't keep getting away with it. You can't keep getting away with it. Boop. Did I hit something? Doesn't matter. And we're getting so much ammo, too. What's that about? I don't know what that's about. We're gonna get, like, bouncy bullets next, huh? To go with our butt shots. What else would we even want? What, like, helix bullets could be a nice overkill addition to this monstrosity op -ness of a run? You heard me. Whoop! Opiosity. What is that better? Boop, boop, boop. Where is that cell creep, man? Honestly, I might. No, I'm not selling. I forgot about that. Now I want duct tape. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We gun drop it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I guess it's through here. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. Don't really want to freeze this boss. It goes very poorly. Oh, I actually genuinely got some frame drops there, and I know that picked up on camera. We have Hazmatic. Hit the moon, moon! We are fire man. Basically every single boss I've been hit at the last second. But yeah, you don't want to freeze that boss. You don't want to freeze him. It does not go well if you freeze it. Honestly, at this point, I will get rid of heads, man. Suit. The rest of our stuff is fine. Like, I ain't selling it. I wonder about some of this stuff. If it would be worth it. Six chamber, I think, is worth it. I know that we just lost a pretty sizable chunk of damage. But um I'm I'm I don't mind. I don't mind. We got a lot of coolness, which means we should be able to stack our knife shield pretty regularly. Should be pretty slick. I can see it's it, it, it's not like crazy. But if we get any more curse, if we see any of the cursed pots, the cursed ceramics or anything like that. Yeah, better believe your boy's gonna pick some extra curse up for some extra coolness up. Will you stop it? I don't want to deal with you. We are having a bad day, mister. We have one master round here in 2019. One master round in Gungeon in 2019 as Rito of Retromation. Not allowed. Not allowed. I don't know why I keep on... Kept going slip and slide... Whoop. I'm sure you might find. Another place to uh, get hit. Oh my god. Thank you, knife shield. I'm this I'm just I'm so disappointed in so many of these dodges. Who is this man? And what has he done with the guy who was playing Gungeon like a week ago? I, I was playing so much better. 
I, I remember commenting on it, and maybe that was the killer. Like, you don't comment on the fact that you are uh, playing the game better, because then it goes away. It's, it's like a, it's like a reverse Santa Claus. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna deliberate more on that because I, frankly, it stands on its own. It, ne it needs nothing else. Boop. Something about Polar Express just creeps me out. Just a little bit. You know? Am I alone? Am I, am I alone? Like, the kid with the glasses, like the one in the meme, like, there's something about him. He just rubs me the wrong way. He's he's a creep. I, like, I I don't know. I'd have to see, I didn't, I haven't watched it in forever, but. Dude. Is, do people like it a lot? Do people like it a lot? I, don't, I have no idea. I just remember being honestly a little like, something about it hit the uncanny valley for me. Something about the way it was animated hit the uncanny valley for me. Oh. You know, like teddy bears with teeth. That kind of thing. What you got for me? I'll take it. Because I've been getting hit so much that I'll be able to use that very effectively because of all of my shields. I'm glad I went for the knife shield. I'm glad I went for the knife shield. I felt the coolness in my veins. Ah, extra coolness too. Cool. Please. Cool. 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 There we go. Good enough. Honestly, maybe even too good. Who cares? Cool. We don't need it. We don't need it to be this strong, really. How did you live? How can he live? He's the boy who lived. And I guess that makes me Voldemort, so, I mean, frankly, that's fine. Voldemort's the guy from Pushing Daisies, so it's like, we good. He's also, what, Ronin? Right? I think he's Ronin in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is crazy. After seeing the show Pushing Daisies and then knowing that, uh, those facts is like, what? Very strange. And for all of those people who uh, have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm Voldemort. That's all you need to know. I'm Voldemort. Welcome to my crib. All right, we're going to junk our first chest. Are you proud of me, everybody? We're junking our first chest. People are kind of split on it now. It, it used to be more in favor of like, don't junk, like just don't junk, see what kind of cool stuff you get. But now more people are like, you can, you can junk or please junk or you forgot to junk or things like that. This is making me definitely conscious of the fact that I still have some screen shake on. Trying to protect my knives for when I need them. Don't want to use them unless I really need them. That was kind of maybe a stupid idea. These explosions are going to go on for a long time. Aren't they? Huh. Go. And yourself, Mr. Dragoon. There we go. And we honestly should just use our uh, knife shield aggressively here. I mean, obviously, it's going to die right now, but... Actually, maybe we can keep some. No, it was a pipe dream. It was a pipe dream. I don't know if I did it right, but it doesn't matter. It's dead. It's dead. 
stop, you killed him. Let's see. That's a longer question. I'll save that one for the next episode. No, we'll do it now. We got a long floor ahead of us. What is your most broken run you've ever gotten in Gungeon Mines on a claim clone rainbow run? You got Age Bell, Ring of Triggers, Gun Plus, Makeshift Cannon. Had sick runes before I respond with clone. As you can imagine, the Lich died in one hit each time. Never had to pull the trigger on your makeshift cannon. Yeah, makeshift cannon, ring of triggers, and anything is pretty much a freebie. It is pretty darn cute. Uh, most broken run I've ever gotten. This, I mean, without without messing with mod the gungeon, would have to be the run early on in Farewell to Arms where I got the shovel and I was I kept digging up spice. I just kept digging up spice on a like a, a rainbow run or a clone run or something, and uh, it got out of control. It got really out of control, and I one-shot the Lich with my base pistol. Got that. It's highlighted over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Retromation, by the way. If you're not following over there, you are just... Oh, I cannot believe you. I thought we were friends. I was telling... I told my, I told my family that we were friends. Then I found out that you aren't following on twitch.tv slash Retromation. And frankly, I don't know. I can't believe I, I talked about you with my, to my family. Please, uh, please go over there right now. Right now, I'll give you time. I'll give you time. Second browser. Tap out of your phone for a second. Don't worry. I'll be in the little box right there. Twitch.tv slash Retromation. I stream Gungeon. You like Gungeon. And you might like me, because i am uh, we're on bullet hell, playing Enter the Gungeon together uh, for quite some time now. So if you don't like me, uh, I am confused, but okay. Yeah, no, come hang out on Twitch as well. It's a, it's a fun way to actually, you know, interact with the people watching the, the, the stuff a little bit more directly. Very, very cool. Loving doing it, doing it every Monday and Wednesday, and trying to do it even more than that. Twitch.tv slash Retromation. But what I was going to say is that run, there is a, it's highlighted over there. So the the end of the end of that where I one shot the one shot the Lich is highlighted on on the Twitch channels if you want to see that. It is pretty dang nuts. Pretty dang nuts. In addition, you get to see the uh, the clip of me killing the Lich and then dying in the post credit sequence that's also on twitch.tv slash retromation only places you can see it but yeah I play playing uh, playing a lot of gungeon I'm on I do I have a second streak over there where I'm playing as paradox only if you if you're really really out of the loop really really out of the loop but it's more of a casual super super direct conversation kind of thing taking the questions live stuff of that nature and we play some other stuff too. If you want to see more variety, if the, if the YouTube channel doesn't have enough variety for you, after I play Gungeon, I usually usually play a little bit of something else. I'm playing this Sekiro Shadows Die Twice over there right now. If that is something you're interested in, if you've ever wanted to see Rito play a, a Soulsian style game, follow on twitch.tv slash retromation. And that is the end of my super big plug. But this run, frankly, I mean just look at it. Just just have a look. I think we, uh, oh, I think we peaked. Get out of my swamp and into my car. I'm going to fill up the crestfall. It's been a gentleman to me. It's been an absolute gentleman. Not quite a scholar because, let's be honest, it's a gun. It can't, can't quite be a scholar. doesn't have its degree or anything. As far as I know. I feel like Gunther has a degree. Got you. Dead end, man. It's all good. Even with that aggression. We actually cannot fire this ring of our knives. 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 
Oh man, I want to I want to finish this run really quick because oh, we are getting close to the end, and it kind of sort of looks like maybe we are gonna lose. Like if, if you look at just the, if you see that time and you see how the episode began, it looks pretty grim. Looks pretty grim. So here's freaking hoping that we can finish this out soon and trick a couple people because I am all about that life. All about that life. Everybody, uh, comment about how sad you are. Like, do do it in uh, in a, a creative way. Like, don't all do it the same way. Don't all do it the same way. But in the comments, act like I died. Act like I died. Don't specify. Like, don't get too specific about how I died because then people will realize that all the stories are different. Unless you find like a a general story is lining up and is pretty common. Just be like, you know, just do say comment what you would comment if I lost the streak. Because I want to trick some people if we can. That'd be cute. All right, we're gonna go with a safe way of doing this here. We don't get quite the same amount of damage, but frankly, we probably have plenty. Yeah, that that's plenty of damage. Plenty of damage. Nice. nice. It's a nice. And no. Uh, I don't think I switch. I don't think I switch. So it should still be shooting. Oh, it's back down to the beginning. It went back, back to the beginning. Oh. All right. Got him. He like, but uh, it's gonna be under forty minutes. It's it's reasonable enough to assume it could have been a loss but like the 30-ish 30-ish 35-ish minute oh that one that's a that's a sweet spot but still go for it anyways try to let's try to convince people that this was the end of the street don't don't bring the joke over to the like anywhere else like at a discord or something just did but just in the, in the comments let's, let's trick some people i can't believe it I mean, we're on a streak of 44 now, though, so bada bing, bada boom. That is pretty exciting. Well, he uh, literally just evaporates there. See you later. Boom. That's going to do it for today. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gunshin videos, a lot of which are going to be modded and showing off cool mods that you may not have seen otherwise. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation if you really think that we are friends. And then I, frankly... I can't think of a single friend of mine who's not following me on twitch.tv slash retromation. So, see you there, maybe. Join the Discord with a link in the description to talk about Enter the Gungeon, learn about the game, share suggestions for the Mobby Gungeon series, or to just uh, just talk, shoot the breeze, stuff of that nature. And hell, follow me on uh, Twitter with RetromationYT, because Retromation's taken, and Twitter won't delete it. RetromationYT. All right, thank you, thank you. See you next time.